Hello, Floss Tube. We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie. And we're a hundred today. We've been sitting here for a hundred episodes. <laughs> Thank you so much. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you for the people who have been watching since the beginning and mm -hmm. our newcomers. We are so so happy you're here mm -hmm. and so grateful for you joining us each week. We're excited to be here. Yes, thank you so much. We, we love it. Yes. We have done more than 100 videos, but this is our 100th time sitting here at this table doing a regular floss tube. So. Um, and we had some, we had multiple videos last week. So we had our normal floss tube and then we had some finishing video, a finishing video and a um, favorite, favorite thing. Finishes, yeah, yes. so our favorite finishes video. So you can check those out as well. Leave a comment. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to jump right into it because we had a lot of questions. You might hear Cash. She's a little whiny today. He is teething. He was up till 4.30 yesterday morning. And <laughs> All right, <laughs> Kathy, where do you get the rolls of Rick Rack? So they're, uh, it's Lori Holt's Vintage Trim is what it's called. Mm -hmm. and, and it's on this like wooden spool that's mm -hmm. super cute. Uh, but it comes in all of her like signature colors through Fat Quarter Shop. Right. I'll bring some to the table next week so you can see them. Yeah, and she was saying it's uh, a lot stiffer and... Yes, it's it's a lot thicker rickrack than the stuff that you buy at the store. So when you add it to your projects, it really stands up. Yeah. It's nice. Yellow Rose Stitcher. Have you ever run into a project that the washers and magnets wouldn't hold? If that's the case, we add more. Some, like her Halloween rules and my Halloween rules, they have a lot. Or mine like five, four or five Maybe washers, six. six. It just depends. So I mean, we use as many as it's going to take. And sometimes the hot glue does not stick well to the project. Like when I did Lori Holt stitch cards at the Fat Quarter Shop, one of the magnets came off. I should have used E6000 instead of the hot glue on the finish that it was on. So sometimes yeah. you might have to re-glue something. Yep. Uh, E6000 is a really strong Strong glue. smelling, too. Yep. So make sure that you're in a well-ventilated well area. Ventilated area. Or you're going to be like that. <laughs> um, she used to use that a lot when she would decorate my pageant and talent costumes. I would be decked out in rhinestones. What were they called? What was it? Soroski. Yes, Soroski. Soroski. AB. AB. Aurora Borealis. There we go. Um, but in the hotel rooms, there's not good ventilation, and everybody would just be a little bit like, uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's probably why I would go TP the rooms at night <laughs> at pageants. We were wild and crazy people. Um, Charlotte, what's the brand of your glue gun, and where'd you get it? I got mine at Hobby Lobby. So it was either $25 or $40, and then I used a coupon. But it works good, and don't buy the cheap ones, buy the more expensive ones. Hers also has a really fine tip at, mm -hmm. at the end, so you can get under, like, the ruffles if you're doing that, etc. Mm -hmm. Hot glue is hot, so when you buy a good glue gun, your glue is going to get very hot. So I've seen lots of people say, oh, I'm burning my face. It's hot, so just be careful. She Put has a water by you. She's built up a tolerance. She has no feeling in her fingers anymore <laughs> because she used to use this. I have uh, feeling in my fingers. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it doesn't affect you, though. You just, like, peel the strings off, like, oh, I burnt myself, where other people are, like, singeing their fingers. Don't do that. I do it sometimes, too. The better glue gun you buy, the hotter that it's melting that glue. So yeah. Tina wants to know, she's always framed her projects behind glass, but she'd love to know how to keep them clean when finishing your way. She lives in Arizona where it's dusty. So our projects are not out for a full year. Most of our things are seasonal or monthly, so they're out for a month or two or three at a time, and we don't really notice the dust on them. Yeah. You can probably just take a... Microfiber? No, the, what are those, like, feather dusters, and just dust it a little bit. Suddenly, Joy, do you have any videos on bows? No, I don't. Not yet, Kimberly. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Joy, when you go to your mom's, is it just you or the whole family? I take all the kids with me, so all of us come here. Uh, the girls, I'm really strict on electronics, so during this time, they usually get TV time, and then I've got him to take care of. Uh, D, when changing colors, do you write them on your pattern to remember later on? Sometimes I do. Most of the times I just put them in the bag so I know what, what they are. Yeah. Some patterns I feel like are sacred and you don't want to write on them. If that seems weird. I don't know. Linda, can I use food coloring to dye Ada? I am not sure. We've never, never done that. Them. But you can always try. Janet, when you talk about stitching in a circle, how do you do that? 
I just go around the per perimeter of an item I want to fill in and I'll show you when I get to one of my projects. Okay. We might have also demonstrated that on the stitch uh, stitching video yes. that we did on Fat Quarter Shop. Stitching with Fancy Floss. Chris, uh, she'd like to use Fancy Floss for So She Did. Any recommendations? Probably Really Tealy for the sewing machine. Aqua. Blushing Beauty is a really pretty pink from Classic Color mm -hmm. Works. Uh, Queen Bee Yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we Pen. were a little sad this week because our last video came out from the fan quarter shop. Yeah. <laughs> sad. We'll mm -hmm. just have to go back. <laughs> All right. Uh, Penny, when using the project board to hold your floss, when you pull it off, does it make it a little fuzzy? No. Not at all. Hi. Lou, can you explain why you have a lot of whips going? Are you more efficient with it that way? I don't know. I, I find for me it keeps me motivated because I've always got different things to stitch. So Hot. I enjoy it. Yeah, I, I, it keeps me interested in the projects. If we don't like something, we can kind of just set mm -hmm. it aside for a little bit, but we still have other things to work on. Yes, and, you know, people talk all the time about how they've lost their stitchy bug. I never lose mine because i got so many things I can to, do. To go, right. yeah. And if I had to work on the same one all the time, I might put get it one. away for months. But to each their own. Right. Mary, do you eat your duck eggs? Yes, they're great for baking. Uh, so I recommend if you could get some locally, I would absolutely try them. Don't go out to your front yard by your mailbox and get them, but. <laughs> That's yes. what happened to mine. <laughs> right. Leslie. Hunter scrambled them up. <laughs> you can eat them just like chicken eggs. So you can, uh, I can I make omelets with them and things like that, but they are great for baking. Leslie, what kind of paint do you use when painting your frames and trays for your finishes? We use chalk paint. And yeah. Lori Holt has come out with some chalk paint with another company. Chalky. So she's got really pretty colors, and we're supposed to be getting some, so we'll be able to show you some. Yep. Of you know we'll paint up some frames or whatever for our finishes i was it. just talking about i have a project out on my back porch that i need to do which might be a great option for me so <laughs> we'll see um okay but you can find that at the fat quarter shop christine have you had time to plant your zinnias with all the rain we've had yes i have gotten all mine planted and i did order some more off of amazon because i needed more i added another i dug up a bunch of grass so hmm. We had a project day. We're like, I just want a flower bed right here. Let's just do it. <laughs> so we did it. No, I'm still trying to get rid of the girl. <laughs> Christine, no, doodle bug stitcher. Are there any plans to do tank tops or short sleeve shirts for the housewife shirts? No, not that I know of. Yep. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, not yet. Not as of right now. How about we say that? Not as of right now. And somebody asked if there's going to be other colors. Not as of right now. This is uh, like a chalkboard. Yes. Anna, explain railroading. It's when you split your thread when you're going maybe if up. If you're using through. two strands of floss and your needle goes in between the two strands when you're doing one or both of the legs of the X. Yes. We don't do it. If it happens accidentally, we're okay yeah. with it, but it's not something that we purposefully do. Right. A lot of stitchers, uh, when using white floss, will do that because they say that the stitches lay better and the coverage looks better. Sherry, when will you be doing another quilt? Hopefully soon. Yes, I, I have the my things to do the sweet Christmas, and I'm doing another stri stri string, mm -hmm. string, whatever, quilt. Quilt as you go? Mm-hmm. So. That's fine. Um, Melinda, will you be doing a patriotic tour? Yes, we will be. If, if I can ever get my house cleaned. Oh, my God. Last week, there was, like, a crumb on the floor, and she's like, I will never be able to have a patriotic tour, <laughs> like, running around with a Swiffer. When we come to the house, it's chaos. There's just, there's stuff It's like everywhere. a moving man exploded with the cards, just, like, load after load coming in. So, and there, the dining room table, if you saw it right now, it would be, like, there's not a big enough bathroom. Oh. Linda wanted to know, are you doing floss fix from Fat Quarter? Absolutely. Yes. Um, Mom brought one to show. Yes. They gave this to me when I was at that Fat Quarter shop, and we forgot to show it to you guys last week. All right. So for those of you that don't know, Fat Quarter shop is doing a monthly uh, floss, club. floss club from Classic Color Works as of right now. And they are going to do like one color per month, and you're mm -hmm. going to get varying shades in that color. So from light, medium to dark. And they'll send when them automatically to you. This is going to be August of 2019 is when it starts. And it's called Floss Fix. The first month is Piggy Pink. Kimberly's dog's name is Piggy. So they named He's it a Piggy Pink. Mm -hmm. 
beautiful colors really excited about this and it's a cute little thing to get right and it's so cute so this is the new glove from them Allie, where do you buy your monaco that you tea and coffee dye that quarter shop that quarter shop now because they carry it yep they have the tubes 20 by 24 and then there's a smaller 16 size by 18 but they have it in tea dyed and antique white yep uh, we used and to we're get gonna it do from... a red dye tutorial. Hopefully next week. We were gonna do it this week, but since we had those extra videos from the Fat Quarter Shop, we didn't want to bombard you every day with a video. Yeah. So uh, we used to get it at big box stores like Michaels and Hobby Lobby, but now their selection and is Joanne slim to none. Yeah, Joanne slim to We used to have it by the bolt. Yeah, and we used to buy it like that. Killy loves Sammy's. She recently purchased the Swine Farm and has 14 count Ada. Is concerned that it will make the finished project a lot bigger. Should she save up and um, purchase 32 count like it's called for? I stitch mine in 28 count over two, which is basically 14. Yep. So it's your personal mm -hmm. preference. If you're finishing it like her, she stitches it on. Mm -hmm. 14 count. So when we stitch on 28 count, our finished piece is the same size as somebody who's stitching on a 14 right. count, if that makes sense, because we do it over two holes. And all the patterns say 32 count, but every one of them that I've stitched is 28. Yep. So over right. two, which is 14. Maria, what's the chart behind you? Looks like a row of houses on a tray. Oh, th that Liberty Lane. That's Liberty Lane by Country Cottage Needleworks. It's on, look at him, he's like rock in his playpen. It's on a piece of barn wood. Mm -hmm. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, she changed the colors to be darker. We both did. Um, you can see those on her blog. And also on my blog, if you go to December of every year, there's a post of everything I stitched that year so you can find all the cross stitch on one post. Yep. Maria, uh, sorry, Tony, where, um, Patty, for zinnias, you've said you use miracle Grow. How often? I fertilize my pots. I try to once a week. So when I'm doing that, I sometimes will throw miracle Grow on my zinnias. So. miracle Grow. Mm -hmm. Almost once a week. She, yeah, she doesn't want me to use it because it's not organic, and now they have organic. But no, I, I use it for my flowers. I try not to push any thoughts. I just don't want her using it. For their <laughs> business practices anyways um she uses miracle grow on her flowers she also uses a slow release fertilizer in her pots did i yeah i know i, I used that miracle grow garden soil like, and i mixed in soil. and i mixed in slow release fertilizer oh she helped me plant my stuff she just like <laughs> put it where it needed to go and she's like if you could just one more like 40 more <laughs> She has a lot of plants. I don't know. She has a lot of buckets to plant a lot. Mm. <laughs> um, we'll start the garden tour soon, too. Yes. Oh, people are asking about my... Yes, garden tour soon. My fence is finally finished. Um, I mean, everything's still kind of small-ish because our mm -hmm. weather has sucked. Sucked. <laughs> sucked. <laughs> don't be negative. <laughs> I'm trying not to be, but it, it's going to rain again later today. Last night, yesterday, it was so windy. My tomatoes were just, I'm like, I'm over this. This is, I'm not going to have tomatoes. And at night, it feels like fall. Mm -hmm. It's so cold. It's tonight. like 45 at night. Mm -hmm. Like nothing's growing. Um, the stuff that I've given her, like my herbs and stuff that she's planted, they look so good in mine because they were decimated by hail. She came up the, the other day and she's like, oh, your stuff really what? Like, I wasn't lying. It was shredded to pieces. Yeah, well, I got a rabbit eating all my stuff, so. <laughs> I gave you stuff. Did you put it up? No. Mm -hmm. All right, Janet, when you, uh, nope, I already answered that. Anna, already answered that. Amy loves toads. You mentioned gardening videos that you watch. Who do you recommend? Garden answer. Laura from Garden Answer. Works... 17 tries. All right. Um... <laughs> it's already taken 17, and we're not even through the questions. Crystal, when stitching a piece, do you already know when where you're going to display it, or do you have to search for a spot after you finish it? Um, I move my stuff around, so unless it's one of the Slap it in there. unless it's one of the big things, then I need to know. Yeah. Uh, McLam, do you think you'll do the shirts in different colors? Sorry, answer that. Karen, two more questions, guys. Karen, can I do Halloween ornaments for Jolly July? Karen, you, you can, can do whatever, whatever you want. want. <laughs> There's no rules. Yeah, no cross stitch. Please. Um, it's, <laughs> if you want to start five ornaments in July, then start five ornaments. We're starting an ornament every day. Uh, post it in our group and then in Kimberly Stitch Squad, you can find a calendar to download where you can chart out your starts. You can also use your cross stitch Yay. journal to keep mm -hmm. track of your starts. You need and to hopefully, hopefully next week, I have 
most of my charts, but hopefully next week we'll show you all of our charts and we'll be all ready to go. I'm excited for it. I, I, I love too. to decorate my trees with ornaments and I did do a blog post last week about all the trees that I have right now with ornaments, so I can't wait to add to them. Linda wanted Linda. to know what goes in your project bag when you travel. So floss, fabric, kid scissors, needle, reading glasses, reading glasses, the chart, and that's it. We we don't use hoops or key snaps or frames or right. And so we don't carry a lot of extra. And normally, if I'm going somewhere like on the plane, I'll have three or four projects. So I'll have a needle in each one. So if I lose one of the needles or in her bra. Yeah. We found it though. <laughs> <laughs> that happened in our last flight. <laughs> what yeah. do you do? Mm -hmm. All right, that's all the questions I have for this week. But not a lot of stuff goes into our project bags because we don't use a, a lot, lot of, of stuff right. when we stitch. Mm -hmm. And to travel, make it light, quick to get out on the plane. If you're sitting next to somebody, you don't want to be like digging in your bags to find stuff. You want it just kind of ready to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's licking the phone. It's fine. All right. It's my phone. <laughs> he's got his tongue away. It's fine. Um, all right. Next, what do you got for previous finishes? Okay. So I'm going to show you this one more time because it ships on Wednesday. Woohoo! So hopefully you were on a, a list. A list somewhere to. Oops. It ships to stores. Yes. So right. your shops will be getting them hopefully by the end of the week. Or beginning of the following week but this is harvest the first in the chalk full series my collaboration with hands on design i draw the chalkboards she makes the charts and the stand came from hobby lobby the little bucket came from hobby lobby and one of our viewers sent us one for a giveaway we won't be giving it away this week we're going to give it away next week so if you need a stand stay tuned for next week a, or, no, no, a bucket a bucket sorry a bucket. <laughs> the buckets were harder to come by than the stands yeah but this is in the spring shop so and this is in the enamel part of the store. Right. Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. And both of them are attached with magnets, and so is the bow, so that you can change it out because there's seven of them. So, that's my commercial. <laughs> Don't. June from the Prairie Schooler. That one's cute. Mm -hmm. And this is on a, another stand that I got at Hobby Lobby. This is a chalkboard in the back with a rooster on the top, and I did a bow. And I have all the months, except for September, oh. October, November. December? I have December, don't I? But September, October, November, they were like... Not, School? Well, one of them, there was guns. And <laughs> <laughs> this is... Well, then there's guns. So the stars and Stripes from Little House Needleworks. Chelsea also stitched this one. But this is a thrift store frame that was painted with chalk paint. And then I did a... A twine bow. This is old. This is like, I don't even know. And then a bow from Gingham and a little star on top. The The twine is a flower, though. I, I make, shaped the twine into a flower. I and stitched it, that one as well. I changed the word, the lettering to blue, so there wasn't enough blue yes. in it for me. So I her, switched hers, it to blue. I love her blue letters. So, And you oh. can see that in the Fat Quarter Shop Favorites video. You brought that one. Yeah. But I finished hers on a block. I forget how long ago I stitched this, but this is, it was a 99 cent thrift store frame painted with chalk paint. That was probably one of your first projects because it's on Ada and you hadn't switched to. Oh, it is on Ada. You hadn't switched to Monaco yet. And it has a piece of blue floss on it. I used to put this in my tear tray a lot. Yeah, it's a smaller piece, so you can mm -hmm. do that. Okay, so that was it for my previous finishes. All right, what do you got for finishes? Okay, so I did, oh shoot, I forgot to bring that up. Well, if we stop, I'll go get it. <laughs> this is Henpecked from Plum Street, Plum Samplers. Street Samplers. And this is a, like a box that I purchased at Michael's, but it's whitewashed and planked. I did use washers and magnets in case I want to change this out. I did a huge daisy up at the top with a covered button and a little bee and three different types of ribbon. And then the backing on this is also from that Kitchen Woven's pack from Fat Quarter Shop, but they are out of it right now. They're out for a little while. Mm -hmm. it, it hasn't been restocked yet. It's, mm -hmm. it's coming, but it's going to be a little bit. 
So I would love to get more of this blue fabric. I love this. But you can get some of the Kitchen Woven separately. So if you didn't want to get that full pack, you can go search Kitchen Wovens um, on mm -hmm. their website and it'll bring up the individual pieces and you can get some like that. And also Denise, who works at the Fat Quarter Shop, she stitched this and they sent it to me to finish. So I just want to show you, this is red, white, and bloom and it's stitched on that big chunky fabric. This is probably the burlap count. cover yeah. color. But isn't it beautiful? This is from Country Cottage Needleworks, Red, White, and Bloom. So I gotta get this finished up for her, her this weekend. I love it. And I've decided that I'm restitching my Red, White, and Bloom because my white didn't show up good and I need to redo it because I love this. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So, you wanna do your... All right, Projects. so... Oh, by, you have finishes. Yeah, mom... Um, <laughs> finish these for me this week. So this is by Tiny Modernist. Uh, it is finished on the chart as a circle. She made it into a squirtangle. Um, it is finished on a piece of the shiplap that we used for Cash's room cut down. And then she mounted it on a piece of the tartan plaid that we got from uh, Fat Quarter. Is that what it's called, tartan plaid? It's, it's on the table somewhere so you can tell them who makes it. Right here. Yeah. All right. I'll link it below too. Timeless Treasures fabric. So this. Perfect for patriotic finishes. Uh, and then some ruffled ticking. Cover buttons in a daisy. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right. And then next up is... Um, this is the Sunflower Sampler by mm -hmm. Heart and Hand. Thistly Things. This is a screen door, like decor screen door. Mm -hmm. That she had got at the Goodwill for what, 99, 99 cents. cents. And it had like kind of really ugly old stuff on it. Not like good <laughs> ugly old stuff, but like, ugh. so that came off and then that went on. A big bow with two different kinds of gingham ribbon, the Thistly Things and a huge sunflower. Love it, but it'll stand up in the back and add some dimension into a mm -hmm. vignette. All right, and then last but not least, on uh, the wooden paddle, uh, wooden distress paddle from Lila May Designs. Mm -hmm. They had a sale with these previous, uh, recently. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the 4th of July Merry Making Minis by Heart and Hand, another one. She is coming out with two more, it looks like, that she posted Mm -hmm. the other day mm -hmm. which are really cute yeah so there's four of these little tiny patriotic ones yep yeah, this is um yeah that's a plaid homespun that okay. I had down the basement but if you want those little paddles from Lilo May Designs you have to join their Facebook group yep. and then they have sales I also added a star up at the top oh that's cute and then a covered button on there too I don't know why I didn't say that but that's adorable but I did it more for Cash's room than for Chelsea's decor, yes. so it's more I boyish. I personally am going to be using this probably as the tree topper in his room, so I'm making a whole patriotic tree for him to have. He had a red, white, and blue tree last year, but I want it to be more patriotic, so this will be used as a tree topper, just put at the top of the tree. Mm -hmm. um, and for the colors in this, I used the thread pack that we used also for land that I love. So. Okay. Easy. Those are the finishes that I have. I got something done. All right, show me your whips. All right, whips. Uh, first one is a, I'm calling it a finish. This is uh, Pumpkin Hollow Farms by Little House Needleworks. This was a stitch along PC Pumpkin Hollow Farms. No, no. All right, we're gonna go back a little bit because we paused and so she was able to go downstairs. But you can see that these are both the Tiny Modernist Happy Fourth of July, and they're finished basically the same way, but mine was stitched on blue with different fabrics for the trims, and hers was stitched on the, is that gray or is it regular? It's regular. Mm -hmm. So, just to show you. A variation of it. Yeah, how it's the same pattern. I get, that was one that I looked at the cover and I was like, meh, it's cute, but not, but now that I stitch, it's, I love it. I love and then it. I also finished Liberty Dwells, and this is on that planked fabric, but I didn't have a chance to get it fully finished because I needed something from Chelsea, so she brought it to me this morning, so I'll be showing you this next week. All right, back to my whips. I love this. 
Barbarana Designs. This is Black Cat Hollow Part 1. And this is on um, uh, gray writ dyed. Gray writ dyed. And mom has the same fabric, but she tea coffee dyed hers afterwards. Mm -hmm. I liked the white kind of showing through. So mm -hmm. mine is uh, a little bit brighter than hers. I am not using the called four colors on this. I'll share the colors at some point once I figure them out. I was having a hard time. So these are like... Um, but the white shows really good. Yeah. What color white are you using? DMC like a cream actually it's weird um th these colors are like yellowy greens and I didn't know that I liked them so I'm trying to switch it out I'm I stitched a little bit of it I'm gonna see if I like it is what I'm gonna do all right next I've got more done on oops Halloween medley by heart and hand did the hat and started the words here I used Argyle socks and frog legs for the hat. Country Cottage Needleworks, Sweetest Home. I was able to finish uh, one of the beehives and start on more flowers. And this is on rose colored fabric that was uh, left in tea and coffee for longer than the normal amount of time. Last night, because I saw Denise's, I decided to pick back look, up. Look at the difference. Country Cottage Needleworks, red, white, and bloom. Look at how big Denise's is compared to yours. I love it. I'm not sure which fla what floss she used, but it's really pretty. And I loved, and I was just saying, I'm going to have to rip mine out now. I love the, the yes, light she blue. Used the blue instead of the. Yeah. yeah. I'm using, I think, the called for colors on this because I had kitted this up a long time ago. So we're copying okay. you, Denise. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, okay, that's all the lips that I have this week. Okay, I finished the next in the, well, it's not the next, it's the fourth in the Jack Frost Tree Farm series. The truck? No, the this one. Okay, the station wagon. Right, thing. right. Again, she isn't doing the words, so this would typically say Douglas fir, I believe is what it's called. And, and then... Um, and I am using all the call for colors. Call for colors, but she's just... She charged a snowflake to put in there. Did you take one from yes, somewhere else? Yes, I took else? it from up above. Okay, so just took the snowflake and popped it in Like there. I said before, we only buy Fraser furs, and there was no Fraser furs, so I decided to just do snowflakes. But I love it. It's really cute. Uh, for yesterday was flag day. Yep. So she started on the Stitcher Hoods Quaker flag. It's a stitch along done by Fat Quarter Shop. I had already started it. I had already started the white in the... the the stars and the blue part, but when I took it out, I was off, so I just ripped it all out and I started again. Wow. But okay, what color? Blue corn, uh, bamboo, and licorice red. Typical. Mm -hmm. Woo! That one smells. Calvin for <laughs> Witchy Wednesday. Like coffee, not like bad things. That's that fabric that I left soaking mm -hmm. the whole time I was at your house. This and is uh, it too long. the Cat in the Moon. By Another with thy needle. Stitch Mania start. If you don't follow Mama on Instagram, you certainly need to go follow her just for the picture of Cat uh, Calvin looking <laughs> at this. It's hysterical. Okay. And then I want to get this done because I know what I'm going to do with it. This is Lori Holt's Quilter's Cottage. And I've used all the Aura floss, but just stuck it in different areas because I wanted my house aqua. And she's done a little bit different, a few different things. She's added uh, flowers to the window boxes and changed colors, obviously. Okay, and then for, since I'm done with the Jack Frost Tree Farm, then that means I have to do the next in the, and that's not the right one, that's the right one. Number six in the Glitter Village. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's the first three, and then the, the other two are five, so the other one will go right there. So that, that'll be for my Santa Sunday, Merry Monday, and then I'm going to go back to the Santa from Heart and Hand. I love him. This is on my ornament list for July, July. And hopefully I can get him done soon. And then I'm also going to add into my patriotic the... 
I don't even know what that one's called. Land of Liberty by Brenda Gervais. With this, this was another one of my Stitch Mania starts and I only got the L done, but it, it looks like it would go pretty quick. So I'm going to do that. So those are my plans for this week. And hopefully I get stitching time. <laughs> All right. I had some haul from Fat Quarter Shop. I got... Sucking up on Monaco. Some Monaco before you all buy it out. Mm -hmm. And then I got some floss. All their stuff is individually packed so they don't bleed on things, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. So beautiful colors. And then I got some fabric. So I have the packing list here so I can tell you what the fabric is because I'm not a fabric person. We're, we're just going to throw it. Okay, so the first one I've got, and I bought these in mind for finishing uh, Jolly July. So first one, this is called, right here. And I got half a yard. <laughs> Look, it says 0.5 yard. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Primo Plaid's flannel blue and red tartan. And so this is flannel, and it is awesome. Merry Merry Snow Days Stormy Gray Stitch Stripe. Or you could do diagonally. We will link these below too, so you can. Merry Merry Snow Days, uh, snow stitched stripes. This is red and green, and then it has green dots going through the middles. This one I love. Merry starts here, red and black. That's so pretty. My favorite. Merry starts here, red and cream. And it's it's already on the bias, right? Mm -hmm. Is what you said? Yeah. yeah. I would, did you see what I just tried to do? I tried to scroll on the paper. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm so tired. Autumn Love Gray Gingham Yardage. And last but not least, uh, Gray Ticking, Roslyn Gray Ticking Stripe. Okay. That's what I got from Fat Water this week. Okay, so... We had these fabrics last week. We don't have, we'll, we'll figure out what they are and link Bill, them below. Names will be linked below, yes. But there's a red check, red buffalo check. This is a bigger check, black. These are winterberry, so winterberry. And then a red and a black and the smaller. Yeah. Love them. And, and then, then these are more colorful. Is this another one of those? This is a bundle, I think, from that Kitchen Wovens. I think I saw this online. Well, maybe not. No. No? This is a Moda. Okay. Essentially yours. Okay. These are essentially yours. So beautiful colors. Lots oh, of checks, stripes. Yep. We're going to be using these in All my finishing. favorite things. So you'll see these to come, but we can link them below. Mm -hmm. And we'll definitely link these as well. Everything's just gonna be linked, okay? <laughs> it takes me like seven hours to do the links. We're just gonna link it. All right, next. Okay, so last week we forgot to show you these stitch cards from Lori Holt. Uh, I did the finishing for these when we were at the Fat Quarter Shop. So next week we're gonna be having a good giveaway on these. So you get all, um, this is set A, you get all four of the designs and then she's going to come out is this a quarterly thing i think yes there's going to be four different sets so four different sets so again something that you could do interchangeably mm -hmm. so you mount them all once and then you slap up the new ones when you stitch them and then the the needle nannies lost my pony from the star spangled spine and i've been seeing a lot of people starting to stitch it and i just love it and a lot of them on different colors other than black and they're awesome. These are so cute. So these are available at the Fat Quarter Shop too. Okay. You forgot to show your haul. Oh. I hauled this from mom. I bought this, it for This is my haul right here. Just because my stepdad said no more cows. So I got her one for the front yard too because he's like, we don't have cows here. We're not a farm. <laughs> well, we are now. We got cows in the front yard. And remember, Chelsea showed you her pillow that she got from our Amazon shop? Well, I had to order two of them. So 
I got two towels. Both of those are in our Amazon shop. We yeah, love these them. are pillow covers, and they're so nice Shh. to change out. With their crinkles. <laughs> 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 All right. That was all. Okay. Gifts. Ooh. Gifts. You guys. All right. So, Rich. Everyone knows our friend Rich. He was the one who made the us garlands. the rag garlands. He sent us these beautiful patriotic flowers. Are they not the cutest thing? They're so cute. I took a picture yesterday with my hen pecked with the flowers. And they made us strawberries. But he made Chelsea and I each three of these flowers and two strawberries. I can't wait to stick these out in my hutch or someplace. All right, if you heard the screaming. <laughs> Crisis, I don't know. All right, next up from... Your flowers are different, so show me yours. Oh, sorry. Mine's a... This is black. He knows I love black. Yours are more patriotic. I'm trying to so hold cute. them. I absolutely adore these. Mm -hmm. Sticking out of a mason jar, they'll be so cute. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rich, um, like one day he said he was going to start a new cross stitch, and like the next day it was done. Mm -hmm. Like he's like a, a super fast stitcher. We were just both like blown away. Yeah. And then he had like 17 projects done, and we, we were just blown away. All right. And then this, right? From Lulu Stitches. She sent mom these adorable cookie cutters a beehive and a bee. I opened this box and I stuck her mail in the box. So we just had a mail in there. <laughs> All right, she sent this for Cash, which is adorable. My little patriotic puppy. And then for me, look at this cute bag. And it's got like a tub with seeds in it. It's adorable. And it's um like a snap bag, right? That's what it's called? I'm not sure about that. And she's a designer, so she sent us uh, giveaways. Mm -hmm. So Abby was the one who sent us, we mentioned it earlier, she was able to find an extra bucket at mm -hmm. Hobby Lobby, so she sent us one as a giveaway. Mm -hmm. She also got mom. She found these at a flea market. Beautiful vintage chickens. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Love them. She sent us two little packages of goodies. Little goodie bags with small scissors, needles. Those are so cute. And then uh, some charts. A very nice card. And it's one of those hands across the sea with the chart on the back. Those and are so beautiful. Just very nice words. Thank you so much, Bobby. And then she sent us um, notebooks. I had to think about the, I'm like, what is this? Uh, Ray Dunn no, planner. <laughs> no Ray Dunn planner. For 2020. Lord have mercy. Uh, but she sent us both one. Mm -hmm. So thank and you so much. And everything was wrapped really pretty and tied with twine and little name tags. She really did a nice job. We're not used to that. So yeah. sometimes when we get gifts, it just comes in the bag that the store <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, I swear. All right. That's what I've got. Right? That was what it, no, this bag right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is from Carolyn. And okay. this will right here. This will definitely be a future giveaway. She sent us, we'll give it away next week, two big pieces of fabric. So this is 28 count ca cashel, cashel, mm -hmm. cashel, cashel, cashel linen, linen, uh, and doubloon, doubloon. And this is a um, 18 and a quarter by 25 and a half piece. It's beautiful. And this is 28 count white Lugana. So next week, come back and we'll be giving those away. Yes, thank you so much, Carolyn. That was so sweet of you. And then and, uh, from Nikki. Plus you showed the sharp yes, chart from her. Okay. From Bobby. Okay. From Nikki, from Nikki's Notables. We absolutely love her bags. This is a perfect size if you're doing Jolly July for an ornament. And she sent us three of each of these. Oh! So there's gonna be two bags given away, plus our other giveaways. But to Yay! enter for these bags. Cause this is today. So today uh, you're, there's a chance to win two bags. The small one or the chicken one. Yep. 
So you need to go to Nikki's Nikki's Notables on Etsy, and mm -hmm. we will link it below, and come back and tell us in your comment your favorite yeah. bag that she has for sale. And then also, which one of these you'd prefer? Green or, or black Yeah, is what you're going to put. So you're going to go to her uh, Etsy shop, which is going to be linked below. These are little houses. And you're going to tell us what your favorite bag is from her Hi. site. Aw. Chicken wire on the back of the chickens. And you're going to then come back to us. You're going to leave in the comment section, green, black, and then um, what your favorite bag is from her site. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's for the first two giveaways of our giveaway extravaganza today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So last week we were giving away. Do you have that on my phone? Yeah. Okay. We were giving away Lori Holtz, the Lori's new so she did. We were giving away three sets of these with the bag, the floss pack, mm -hmm. and the chart. And we got to hear a lot about your favorite pieces that you've stitched so far. So many of I mean, they're beautiful pieces. I can't imagine. All right. So the first winner, Jeanette Hoffman. Congratulations. Again, anybody who wins, you have seven days to win. You need to, to seven days to claim your prize through our email, um, which is listed in the description box below. So just send us an email with your physical address and then we're able to send them out to you. Uh, winner number two is Donna Larson. Congratulations. And winner number three is Beth Pierce. So all three of you email us below. Let us know that you won. So she did. And we'll be able to send that out to you. Congratulations. This week we've got 12 giveaways. Mm -hmm. 12 giveaways. So the first of those two Nikki's Nodal's bags. Go to her Etsy. Come back. But do your comment for all of this in one so go there, figure so out a little bit of homework. Yeah. Figure out what you like, come back. And then we're giving away 10 of, of our, our Stitching, Stitching with, with the Housewives, Housewives bags. bags. And inside the bag, you're going to get uh, two, two fancy, fancy glasses. glasses. And there's going to be 10 charts. So the first two are... Every Heart by Country uh, Cottage Needleworks. Country Cottage Needleworks. There's going to be two of these. There's four of these from Lou Who Stitches. What's her name? The chicken? Aunt B. Aunt B. And then four of these little patriotic Flame. hearts from Lou Who Stitches. All right. So your comment is going to consist. So this is homework. Your comment is going to consist of if you're interested in Nikki's Notables bags, you can enter for all the giveaways, just so we're clear. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're interested in that, you're going to go to our Etsy shop. You're going to scroll through, find your favorite bag, keep it in your head, think about it. And then you're going to list in the comments what your bag choice is. So green, black for that, and what your favorite bag from her website was. Okay. And then you're also going to enter which, uh, if you're interested in our bag, winning one of our bags, you're going to enter Aunt B, if you want one with the chicken in it. You're going to put every heart, if you're interested in um, Country Cottage Needleworks, Lou Who Stitches um, did all of these, or Patriotic Fling. So you can put Fling for this one. Okay, and those... That way you don't get a chart that you've already stitched or you're not getting mm -hmm. a chart that you wouldn't yes, stitch. Yes, we want to make sure that you... But the Luhu Stitches charts are from Luhu Stitches herself and then the Every Heart charts are from the Fat Quarter Shop Fat Quarter. and the bags and the floss are from the Fat Quarter Shop. And we appreciate them all sending us things so that we can give them to you. Yes. All right, I know that's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be worth but it, right? But it's our hundreds, so we have to... Make it work a little. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, Hunter's ready for the hundred. Um, again, Hunter so, just came and took the baby. <laughs> it's been a rough, rough day. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I might start drinking. <laughs> it's, it's bad. It's been rough. There's like 17 cuts so far. <laughs> so far. All right, so again, I know it's a little bit of a pain to write that all out, but that's what you're going to do. That's the good, and again, if you're interested in all, you can say all, but we still need to know your favorite bag from mm -hmm. Nikki's Notables, mm -hmm. and she will be linked below. Okay. So, okay, I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> yes, there, there's 12 giveaways, 10, 10 of our Stitching with the Housewives bags, which we love and are so proud of, and thank you, Back Quarter Shop, for making our... Dreams come bag true. dreams come true. I always wanted a bag. <laughs> and our shirts. You can still get our shirts. <laughs> when did you stop? It? Right now. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I'm definitely going to start drinking. Okay, so 
12 giveaways. <laughs> Two of the project bags. No, we already know that. We're good. Because you know those rolls. And so you know, you guys know how to do this? Yes. She, she says you know how yes, to do it. Okay. They know. <laughs> All right. So if you get your inspiration from us, go. tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. And it's nice for me to know that you're using the tutorials that we've given you and my she can't think right now. my <laughs> ideas <laughs> in your stitching yes also follow us on instagram at priscilla blaine at chelsea 356 priscilla's 2000 on facebook and priscilla's 2000.blogspot.com where you can read more about everything that we do and you can always see my color changes and her color changes if she sends right. them to me and frequently <laughs> join our stitching with the housewives group Start and, gathering all your ornaments for Jolly July. We are closing in on that. So get all your fabric ready, all your colors ready, all your ornaments ready. Okay, and we have been finalizing our next retreat. Not mm -hmm. our next one, because we're going in September. Yes. Yeah, you forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So there's a Facebook group you have to go join. Yes. And then the information will be posted there for you to be able to get and entered into the retreat How yeah so all that? of the yeah so all of the information for the retreat is going to be listed through this facebook group instead of us putting it out here we're going to have you go we, join we will talk about it right we? right but then <laughs> instead of finalizing it right here we're going to have you go to the facebook group uh ladonna if you know sampling of memories she is yes. going to be hosting her first retreat and we're there yeah we're <laughs> so excited to go uh we've seen potential pictures of where we're we're excited mm. like we are excited do you know how to find the group name Virginia. okay nope so it is called love to cross stitch retreat so you'll be able to go join there um she's going to talk about it more on her floss tube as well sampling mm -hmm. of memories she's ladonna snell baker right mm -hmm. that's how you say it. um we so are go super excited group. but it's next spring yep in virginia 2020 mm -hmm. yes super excited so we need a planner because we're already booking up <laughs> One thing. <laughs> booked. We're booked. <laughs> Don't know how we're going to do it all. <laughs> but we're available. <laughs> anyway. Hi, yeah. I think that that's it. Uh, so do you? <laughs> it, it's been fun for the hundred episodes with all of you. And we love reading your comments. And we love hearing from you. And thank we you feel so like much, we have but... friends. Like the people I see comment every mm -hmm. week, you're my friends. Like I, I just know you already. Yes. <laughs> and thank you for the emails and the messages on Instagram and the messages on Facebook and all of it. We, we love it. Yes, we appreciate you all. Your support through the shirts and wearing them out. We, mm -hmm. I love it. Yep. Love Keep it. showing us your pictures. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. We wouldn't be here without you watching us. Nope. And there's going to be 10. They already know. 10 giveaways. we got to show them again. <laughs> we love our bags. They fit a lot. It's a perfect bag to take on a plane. So if you're traveling this summer, get a bag. Fling, Aunt B, or Every Heart. Every Heart. And then you'll get all. two fancy flosses with it. They won't probably go with your pattern, but fancy just add them to your stash. Yeah. So that's it. Nikki's right. Notables on Etsy. So all linked Mm -hmm. just like so thank you nikki for the giveaways and for the bags for us too. yes we appreciate it mm -hmm. thank you guys so much we'll see you next time bye